What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Greg, other known as Drone Poison, welcoming you here to a new series that I'm going to call the Drone Zone. Where uh, basically I get a little creative with some different ideas that I've had and try to bring to you some new fresh content. Uh, it's going to be uh, something that I've envisioned as far as maybe bringing on some guests and doing interviews and doing some other crazy stuff with some drones that'll be really entertaining for you guys uh, a little bit of destruction uh, things of that nature uh, frame reviews and other things as well I don't really think I'm gonna start another channel per se but this is just gonna be another playlist added on to my channel that you guys can check out and today I'm excited man it's been uh, it's been since Friday today I'm shooting this it's actually Monday so since Friday, I've been sitting here with this bad boy right here. And what this is, is it's a new frame from Exxon Design. It's the Orca 5. And I seen this thing a couple months ago and I really wanted to jump on it, but I just, uh, I really had bought some other stuff. I actually bought another uh, it's a fly fish frame from, it's called the, the 55. And uh, so I was gonna build that out. So I was waiting for it. And so I put this one off and uh, I got the 55 and I just wasn't impressed with um, the design pretty much. I'll just say that um, there was some issues that I had with the original Volador, you know, and that was in the camera cage right here where it was caving in. And so uh, in crashes and I've been through like six sets of those. So I went ahead and I bought the 55 and was gonna build it and it has the same issue, the same exact camera cage issue. I thought it was thicker, but it's not. So uh, that and the arms, you actually, if you're running a 30 by 30, you have to actually remove the stack screw. You have to remove the stack screw uh, to remove the arm. So that was like, you know, it's like moving backwards for me and I just really wasn't feeling it. So this frame if you guys are interested in this 55 frame it is a nice frame don't get me wrong it's going to be great for the the average person that wants to go out and rip and they're not doing insane stuff like i'm doing smacking into silos and pumping units and crazy stuff pipes and everything this frame i'm going to do a giveaway so this is going to be a three-part series on this front this frame i'm going to do a review on the and build on this frame today the the exon orca 5 and then I'm going to do a build video and then I'm going to do a final review. But at the end of that final review, if you guys stay tuned, there's going to, I'm going to pick a gift. I'm going to pick somebody out of the comments. It's just going to be a random pick. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure that you like the video and that you comment on at least one of the three and you'll be entered for the giveaway for this bad boy right here. And it's a beautiful frame. I'm not gonna get rid of the motors. The motors are staying with me, okay? Motors are staying with me. I just wanna make that very clear. Uh, these are something that I'm gonna be testing out and I'm gonna actually put them on the new frame. Uh, they were gonna go on here and I was gonna test them, but being that I'm not gonna build this one out, uh, it will come with the TPU and everything else. It's just not gonna come with the motors uh, there's no electronic, there's no electronic components in there, so no flight controller, no ESC. You have to provide that stuff. But if you guys are interested, just you know, leave a, a comment saying that you guys want the frame, and I'll pick one of you lucky cats uh, on the third video. So make sure that you're subscribed, that you like, and that you're following along so that you can get this content. And and I just appreciate you guys to tuning in to my channel. And all those cats that are out there that have really just uh, moved this channel along, I, I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, this channel is growing, and I, I'm very grateful for that. And I ask for you guys to continue to help it grow. And in that, I'm going to have one ask. Um, I don't know if you guys know really anything about me. I don't really talk about my personal stuff, but I am currently... Uh, on disability, I got injured at work. I had neck surgery, had spinal implant put in, got wires in my spine and all that. And doctors haven't released me to go back. I'm normally an operating engineer in the local 12 here. 
and I haven't been able to go back to work to make my income. So I am basically having a hard time keeping the content out and uh, the ideas that I have that I want to do, um, they're going to take a little bit of fun funding and I'm just going to reach out to you guys. If you guys want to be a part of that and get some content before others do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a Patreon. I haven't done it as of yet, but I will have it a link in this video for you guys who want to support this channel and help it to grow to the next level. Uh, I need to get like SD cards. I need some new camera stuff, but that can come later. I can make do with what I have, but I just need to be able to help finance some of the stuff that I want to do in these videos to make it a reality. I think you guys will really love it and you guys uh, are going to be interested. It's not going to be just boring flight footage. Um, sorry. I, 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 that's kind of, I love flight footage. Don't get me wrong, but it's not going to be your typical FPV channel where there's just flight video after flight video. Um, I will have my flight videos on my channel, but if you tune into this playlist, it's going to be the drone zone and it's going to be reviews, uh, smashing and bashing things, testing. And, uh, really, I want to really start focusing on durability and holding companies accountable, uh, that say they have like the best frames and this and that, and just kind of like, let's see, let's really see what is the best out there. Um, so this is the start of that series, and this is something that I've been waiting to open since Friday. I've been it's been sitting here eating at me, so we're gonna open it up. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys like this frame. Uh, I think I'm really gonna like it. I don't know. It's a this frame is made by an American company here. It's a newer company, Exen Designs, and I'm really kind of excited just to. To, to be a part of making this video and checking out their product, you know. Uh, it's always nice when you have something new to look at, you know, play around with. So we got, okay, wow. Thank you, custom, yeah. The guy Dallas over there, great cat. I talked to with him on Instagram and he is uh, very quick to respond and very helpful. Uh, I actually had made a little request about some, uh, just mentioned, asked if he had some, some TPU motor guards, you know, kind of like something like this. And he didn't on his site, but he has a lot of stuff on printables there for people to check out and be able to 3D print that he's willing to just give to you uh, as far as the SD files go. But, he went ahead and made a custom set for me as far as designing it. He didn't actually make, he didn't print them for me, but he did ship me all this and I'm grateful. So we're going to get some of this stuff out of the way and I'm not exactly for sure what's in here. Thank you. Stack screws. Oh, nice stack screws in a little tin that's that's kind of a cool little touch because you know you all like to have a little tin for your bag to uh to put your screws in so it's a great idea great touch yeah i'm pretty excited here guys um i don't really know where to begin i hadn't really planned this out too well as far as i i just wanted to have the first reaction and be it legit and look at this stuff and just kind of spread it out and try to figure things out so we got some tpu skids and these guys the way that they're doing their skids is kind of like uh the quad mula where they have the the p3 spacers that lock them on so you're not crushing the tpu but that's like their real motto on this is everything's got these p3s and p2 spacers for your countersunk screws and that's how they're mounting their actual TPU. So it's all nice and separated. You got your your screws, you got your your P your P3 spacers, and you got your TPU skids. Same with the camera mount. It comes with a GoPro Universal camera mount TPU. It comes with the screws for the that, and then also your your spacers here. And these are the camera cages here. Man, these things, I wasn't, you know, I, the problem with the Volador, the one issue that I have with it is the camera cages. That's it. 
So I was been looking for something with aluminum cage, but nice and beefy front end. And so this is the actual front end. And that is a pretty nice chunk of metal that you're slinging out there. And I really, I really like the, the form factor here. This TPU is like, yeah, pretty nice. Clean prints. Yeah, quality right there. And you can get different colors as well. I think they have like green, blue, red, black, and gold. Um, they might be having other colors as well. I'm not for, quite for sure, but everything seems to be nice and anodized aluminum. Got our frame hardware. Sick. And so we got our standoffs. And so we got more space. These, I think these are for the bottom, kind of like how the Apex has the cone washers. These are like the cone washers, but they're anodized. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And it looks like it comes with an antenna mount. I'm not for sure what this one's for exactly. I know they have one that is for your radio master. This is, I think, maybe uh, not for sure which one this is for exactly just off the top of my mind. I know they have the radio master RP one and whatnot that fits perfectly. And then they give you a basic custom SMA antenna mount TPU uh, antenna mount. And I'm not going to use this or probably this. I'm probably going to end up uh, doing a custom print uh, for a standard uh, stubby for the O3 fly fish stubby O3 antenna that, that I normally run. Uh, really a big fan of it. It's really small, short, good reception, no issues. And then the RP1 Radio Master antenna mount I'll be using. Let's check these arms out real quick here. So I know that they are using T700 carbon, which is dope. And the edges are nice and chamfered clean. Pretty nice and thick. And I like how they taper towards the frame side. They got motor protection up front here. So that's always nice to see. And we'll go ahead and bust out the calipers and we will get a measurement. So we are at 5.45, so basically 5.5, yeah, 5.5 millimeters thick on these arms. So that's pretty nice. And it looks like we have the bottom plate. And then we have our, our mid plate. Let's check the thickness on these bad boys as well. All right, so on the bottom plate, we got basically 2.5. 2.5 on the mid plate, it looks like two mil. And we'll check this top plate real quick. This top plate, is another two mil plate. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing like a 2.5 top plate, but we'll see how it holds up. It actually does look pretty beefy. Um, it doesn't look too frail. I had a problem on my GRL where it would always break, where they have a little camera cut out for the cage um, in the side. And then the only issue I've had really with the Volador is just the camera cages themselves. So I'm hoping that these will be a little bit more durable We'll put them to the test and see. I know uh, Steve Tricks FPV, he is running this frame and he says he loves it. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of good cats out there, a lot of great pilots out there. And uh, when they are running certain gear, you tend to listen to them, you know. Uh, I don't agree with everybody. I don't agree with everybody on everything, but... Uh, 
yeah anyways it looks like it's gonna be a banger of a frame we're gonna check it out and see how to put this thing together here it's gonna be a learning curve for me as well because i have not built one yet let's see all these arms i'm hoping they're gonna be exactly the same yes they are so the nice thing about it you're not gonna have to worry about having two different arms like the grl used to be um yeah, I'm pretty excited, guys. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get after this thing. Uh, I think uh, put our top plate aside for now. And mid plate, bottom plate. I think that's going to be where we start. I don't think there's going to be a certain which way it's going to go other than sandwich your stuff in there. Call it good. Uh, let's get some screws going on here sort them out we got some button heads got some countersunks okay we got some socket heads Bear with me guys because uh, this is happening in real time this is not something that is pre-planned so it's gonna basically be just like as if you open up the package and had to struggle with it yourself <laughs> uh, so we got these countersunks here those are gonna obviously be top plate material I believe what I would be betting on these look like they're gonna be motor screws and I did I do believe he said that he sent me the titanium screws I don't know I, I imagine it probably comes with steel but he says that these are he sent me titanium so that was nice of him I appreciate you Dallas over there Dallas is the the head guy running the show over there and great dude um, very good at communication and the whole nine yards. So I guess we'll go ahead and set this bad boy up with some stack screws while we're at it. So I'm running the 30 by 30. This thing's set up for 20. You got your 20 by 20. And then you got a 25 by 25 or whatever it is. And then you got your 30 by 30. So you can run three different stack sizes in here. Pretty tight. I'm going to go ahead and be running the 30 by 30. Let me get my driver over here. I got buried in tools. Got my two. And I'll probably speed ramp this stuff up for you guys so you guys ain't too bored. But I do appreciate you guys tuning in to watch. And I'm pretty excited about this frame, guys. I cannot lie. Um, I've been looking for about, I don't know, 10 to about 10 to 12 months for a replacement frame for my GRL. Because when they went to war, the parts got really hard to get from Ukraine. And uh, I had some problems with uh, a shipment that was wrong. Um, so that set me back like four months on parts. Because it takes about a month, a month and a half to two months to get your parts from Ukraine. Uh, due to shipping and the holds and customs and everything else that they're doing. Um, so yeah, it was like a nightmare scenario. And I really love that frame. It, it could take a beating. It was one of the toughest frames I've ever flown. But it just wasn't feasible to keep you know butting my head against the wall when I need to parts so I moved on and tried a few different frames since then and I found a lot of good frames but I've always found a weakness in the frame where there's been something I didn't like or something that drove me nuts or 
something that was just not as strong as other parts and so I'm still on the hunt um, the closest frame I found to satisfy me has been there's two of them uh, that's the sync mode and the volador and the volador is my main quad and the sync mode has been my number two and uh yeah i have beaten the crap out of both of them and they've taken it uh i also do have a an oily rig um but i'm just not a huge fan of the truex uh design uh i'm more of a squished x guy so i don't know we'll see uh, how it all pans out, but I'm hoping that this frame right here can cover all the bases The only thing that I seen that I didn't like of it is on the rear the tail end um, For the 03 I'm always killing those antennas because I do like a lot of backwards reverse at uh, split s's and freaking Maddie's and whatever, you know, uh, and I'm always killing those 03 antennas and so I, on the on the volador it was an issue as well and it's just where it's not protected where the arms will hit first per se you know like when you're flying backwards you get a little protection if the arms are a little longer and protrude out a little farther like on the true x's but on the sync mode i'm always smashing matter of fact this antenna is killed in here right now i'm always smashing so on the volador what i did is i actually made this beefy freaking little triangle back here and you know what this thing is a beast now dude like i cannot kill the antenna it's been so durable that i'm thinking about just putting the stupid looking thing on all my quads so that was the one thing i noticed on this frame that it's not necessarily protected by arms out here um, on the new frame and so i think it's going to get one of these modifications right here uh, other than that the camera cage definitely looks like it's gonna be a beefier selection. Uh, if you can just tell the back size per se on that. Yeah, it's like way beefier, dude. So I'm hoping it holds up and and maybe it'll be my new daily driver, I don't know. But the Volador has been great, flies great, and the sync mode has been great, flies great as well. Uh, but I'm just looking to go to one quad. I want like one frame, three quads, five quads, whatever. And I do have like five quads right now and I'm just, you know, looking for one. I want one frame that does it all and somebody hopefully to commit to me and support me or sponsor me or something in that fashion because that would be dope because I like to kill stuff and it'd be nice to be able to uh, find a company's product that can hang and then they, that they really want to support your boy because, uh, Killing stuff gets expensive, you know. I know all you guys are going through it, and a lot of you guys are starting out, and you're realizing, like, man, this is just expensive, and your girlfriends probably aren't very happy with you, or your wives probably aren't very happy with you because you're spending so much money on FPV stuff. And it's a great hobby, man. It, it keeps you out of trouble, and it's fun, and you meet a lot of great cats. I know there can be some drama cats out there, too, but you just avoid them, man, you know, and... And most of the guys that are out here are just super nice cats, man. And I have no complaints, honestly. Like, I've I've met nothing but, but great people. So, so far we've gotten our stuff in here. I, I do want to do one thing, though. I like to run those guys nice and tight, and I feel like they're just not tight enough. So I'm going to actually grab a pair of pliers. And this other this other driver that's the wrong driver blind so we'll go here oh and here tighten those guys down nice just want to make sure everything's good to go well no issues no vibrations, nothing rattling loose. I'm a firm believer in doing things right the first time and not having to redo it. 
All right, so we got this, and I'm assuming we can use these cones here. All right. All right. So we've got two, four, six, eight, along with the same amount for the sockets. So I'm assuming those definitely do go together. And so, oh, this isn't doesn't seem to be a very complicated frame to put together. Seems like it's pretty, pretty simplex. And I'm sure that we're gonna have to do something like, let's see here. I'll just, is there a top or bottom? It doesn't, doesn't seem to matter. Got one there. One there. One there. One there. And I'm almost positive that the other ones are right in the middle here 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 oh yeah I could be wrong but we're gonna find out real fast aren't we when I flip this over Okay, so that's going to be the front, and this will be, oh yeah, look at that, no freaking, no problemo, guys, as far as the, you can just, you don't have to remove any stack screws or anything to swap it, an arm out, just two bolts, and she's done. Something like like that. Let's see if we can can we get it <sighs> flipped over all in one shot. Oh, I just dropped one. Not a big deal. Man, this is like one of the easiest frames I think I've ever built. It looks beefy. I probably should have like watched a frame vi build video or something like that, but guess what? There isn't one. That's why you're uh, you're watching this one, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And I really am liking the fact that they use the big 2.5 socket heads on the bottom because I love running socket heads on the bottom anyways. I always end up swapping out the little button heads. And then having these big old fat freaking spacers on here, man. <sighs> little cone washers or whatever you want to call them. They're, they're beefy, dude. They are beefy. Like a big fat Taco Bell beefy burrito. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm getting goofy. All right. So, yeah, there's like no flex. This is the T700 carbon. I think feels light so far. Let me get these big fat standoffs on here. Or standoffs, these camera mounts, camera cages, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we got one, two, one, two, three, four, five of those. And two of these. 
Okay. So I would assume that those two are up here. And then there's four that go here. I would assume. And yeah. All right. So one, two. So, okay. We have all the, the outer socket screws. There should be eight of those in the bag with the TPU. So I believe that's all going to be covered. That's the camera. Yeah. So these guys and these guys are going to be the ones that are going to go on the out so we can rob. Um, I'm wanting to say there's Well, that's different because the camera cage actually pushes it back. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight button heads that we're going to use and then two countersunk. So on these standoffs right here, we're going to, we're going to go, actually, I got to reduce back down to the, the two here. So we're going to take. I probably should put on my glasses so I can see. All right, I want the two longer ones. Nice. This thing looks like she's built to last, that's for sure. Got some mean aluminum. I know I didn't go too much into the, the specs of everything as far as what metals what and all that jazz. And then we got one, two, three, four. So one of these is going to be, they all look exactly the same. So one of these is going to be um, for your camera cage. Something like so. Okay. And then so I'm go on the bottom here. So excited. Normally I like to speed ramp through these videos, but I don't really think I'm going to have to. I mean, if you guys want me to, I can speed ramp it, but I don't think it's really needed. This thing just goes together so quickly, so easily. It's just like you can look at it, and if you built the frame before, you kind of understand where things are going to have to go, especially on a split deck. A slit. Sorry, pardon my French. A, slit, a split deck. That was did not mean to come out that way. I apologize. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like uh, pretty simple. Yeah, that one's. Feel solid already, man. All right, and some more standoffs. These holes seem to be a little bit tighter. Nothing wrong with tight holes, though. Which means it's well fit together, well made. Okay. 
If anybody wants to send me an electric screwdriver, I'd be happy to take it, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> Hope she flies as good as she looks. That's what I gotta say. Cause she does look pretty sexy. With all that red. The red was like a limited edition color and I actually had to order blue cause the red wasn't available. But I reached out to Steven Trix on Instagram and he's buddies with Dallas and he reached out to Dallas and then Dallas contacted me anyways we got the order switched from blue to red I guess they had just got the red in and hadn't even updated the website yet so lucky me blue is actually my favorite color but on drones I don't know man just something about red and black I've always been a fan of like even on my my GRL uh, red and black theme just it looks so epic you know so woo, she's almost there okay so we got we got countersunk here and so far it doesn't look like it comes with any um like battery pad or or uh straps so you're gonna have to make sure that you keep that in mind when you're ordering parts but you know it does come with the TPU so that's pretty freaking epic uh, that it comes with the TPU and not a lot of companies do that these days uh, I know Volador or Flyfish RC are very good about that as well um, but yeah like top three frames in my book so far well I'll say top two because I haven't tested this one out yet. Um, that's going to be the Volador and the, the sync mode from Superfly. And those I have ran and I do know are good. This one is just beautiful, easy to build, super easy to build. And I know that I've looked at the printables, you know, and the STL files that he's created. Uh, for this frame and man he did a hell of a job he's got the capacitor uh holder he's got the xt60 holder he's got uh the tpu arm protection he's got the antennas he's got the gopro mounts he's got all of that jazz that everybody needs and everybody wants and it's done already you don't have to mess with it like you just don't have to mess around so you can do it that way apparently he's he's gave you the option for that but also um, you can swap these out for the other ones and have the standoffs or the the camera mount put on there and he's give you the screws to do all that as well and it looks like like uh, these guys just fit on like so and he's used a, a harder TPU more durable TPU for this for skidding he says you can skid on them for days and that's cool you know if that's your thing you like skidding this can do it oh yeah So I think I'm going to do like red and the red and black theme. And I think that I'm going to do a red antenna. Um, and eventually I'm probably going to print those motor guards that come up around. But from what I noticed, it does offer really good protection. Um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. And then these guys right here, like I said, are to lock them on. I don't have motors on, so I'm not going to put them on. But basically, you get the the red freaking spacers and the 
and the countersunk screws for the outsides and the rest of your motors you just use your normal motor screws but guys uh this thing is is super freaking sexy it looks like it's going to be very very durable okay i'm going to pop that out so you guys can see the thickness in there a little better but i mean compared compared head to head like the thickness you can definitely see a thickness difference 100 percent for sure and it's cut out right here so it's like notched so it's even like just that's a weak spot and unfortunately this one has the same issue but if you guys like this frame and anybody wants to try this frame out I'm gonna happily give this thing away. I paid, you know, uh, cash for it, and I uh, I just feel that it'll be appreciated by somebody else more than me at this point. Um, like I said, it doesn't come with the motors, but if you guys again are still following along and you guys want a chance at winning this, make sure that you drop a like, a sub, and a comment that you want the 55 frame and i will pick a winner um on series three of the drone zone when i actually do the final review on this the next one i'm going to do is going to be the build video of me actually putting this thing together so uh be on the lookout for that because that's something you're not going to want to miss if you're into this then we're just going to do a quick weigh-in as well on the exon orca 5. it's got the tpu inserts in and that's about it and it's weighing 147 grams and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and tell your friends about the channel and whatever else i just appreciate you guys and i will leave a link also to the patreon to help me to ensue and pursue ensue and pursue well to pursue this vision that I have in my head to bring you guys some epic content in the future. And once again, I appreciate you guys.